Hi, I'm Glenn Given from uh, Games by Playdate, and um, I'm going to show you guys the prototype of our game, uh, which is currently called Rocket Shipping, uh, which is kind of a dumb name, but it's a pick up and deliver game of intersolar uh, trade, and it's inspired by uh, the designer Quinn Murphy, who a few weeks ago had talked about an RPG setting of a kind of an Afro futurist solar system. Um, which seemed really cool, and uh, I thought that I wanted to make a board game out of it. So, we put together this board, which is a six-part, uh, three-foot by two-foot board that has the orbits of the nine planets on it, and um, the way the game is basically played is that on each turn, uh, the planets will move around their orbits, um, and depending on how long the game goes, you, you tailor the length of the game to the orbit of the planet, and you have... Um, a ship and your ship can carry a certain amount of materials. Each planet has its own color-coded material that it generates every turn and uh, You'll go to a planet and you'll pick up the the material from the planet and then you can take it to another planet and sell it um, and the prices of the goods both the sale and the um, buying price is determined dynamically by the location of the planet so Let's say you're picking up something from Earth. Um, the cost of that good on the planet Earth would be equal to, uh, let's say, I believe it's the number six, minus the total number of that material that's on Earth and the two closest planets to it. So as the uh, planets orbit around, those prices will, will fluctuate. And so if you're kind of predictively clever, you can figure out where you're going to things are going to be worth the most um, by going to certain places at certain times. Uh, but it's not just about getting whoops, uh, getting to the right place at the right time, uh, because the, each planet will generate uh, a, these materials every turn. And once they reach a, a certain number, they'll start scooping them uh, and deleting them from the farthest away planets. So like, let's say uh, Mercury gets to 10 of its resource uh, once it starts getting up that high, any of its resources that are at, uh, that are at other planets, it will remove one from as opposed to just uh, spontaneously generating one each turn. Um, and that way it keeps the resources that are generated by each planet kind of centralized around that planet. So you don't just have like a big mess salad at the end. Um, on the other major mechanic, as you can see, there's all these like pathways and stuff. And um, these relate to the ways that your, your ship can travel. But your ship also has uh, velocity and, uh, and direction and momentum to consider. So when you move past a planet, um, you can add, you, you add speed to your ship because uh, you use the gravity of the planet or likewise through the sun. But if you won't need to turn more than uh, 90 degrees, you have to spend fuel. And um, you can either use money to buy fuel, uh, you can refuel at planets, or you can refuel uh, through the sun, or you can trade in materials that you've purchased for fuel, which is a very inefficient way to do it. But um, if you need to slow yourself down when you have a really high velocity, you're, you're gonna need to sometimes do things like that. Or if you need to make very sharp turns, because uh, you'll see that certain planets um, like uh, Neptune, oh, I'm sorry, like Uranus, uh, they because they rotate in a different, um, they rotate parallel to the plane of its orbit, um, and also Venus rotates clockwise instead of counterclockwise, uh, as opposed to all the other planets. We've we've set up kind of the slingshot angles from those planets to, to somewhat mimic that. So when you get to certain locations, you, you need to make very hard turns in order to continue on your journey. So you're always gonna be burning um, that type of fuel. I have no idea whether this game is gonna work. Um, and uh, we built all of this just because I needed to get the dumb idea out of my head. But it looks like it might be pretty neat and we're gonna try it out in the next few weeks and then we'll talk some more about it um, when it's ready, hopefully. Maybe submit it to Boston Festival of Indie Games. Uh, who knows? Thanks.